Hello ladies, welcome back. I have a question for you. And before that question, listen. When we grow up, as a young girl, when we grow up, okay, there comes a time when we've matured and we feel uncomfortable in our parents' home. We feel we should get independent. Depending on where you come from and depending on your set priorities and goals and aspirations in life. Some people get uncomfortable that they just want to move out, uh, get a life partner and settle down with that person. Other people just want to move out and start a life of their own professionally or otherwise. You just want to depart from your parents and start your own life, whether single or with somebody. I'm talking to a lady that is thinking of getting out to find somebody with whom she's going to make a home. You move out there either to get hunted or to hunt down someone that you're going to consider as a lifelong partner holding other factors constant. Now, what are you taking home as a lady? Yes, you've done the hunt. Whether you've hunted or they've hunted you down, no problem. But what are you taking home? Depending on where you come from, again, let me say this. Some religions, some cultures, customs, general beliefs, hail that you should be a virgin before you get married. You should only and only present yourself to your husband. He is there to break your virginity. I accept that. I ac have no problem with that. I'm talking to an ordinary person like me. I'm talking to the majority. What are you taking home? When you've gotten this guy, you've hunted him down. You're taking him home. If you say this man is not even about to ask you for intimacy, he's so maybe religious, he's following his cast onto the dot. Oh, and you are also that good girl who does not want to, uh, I mean, cut corners, do otherwise. You want to follow the norm. Of course, you're going to wait, right? You're going to wait until the opportune time, that time when you are legally married, when you now own each other, and then that's when you'll present yourself to this man. Okay. Preparations are made for the grand wedding. Of course, you've appreciated this man. The man looks so handsome, masculine, elegant. Maybe, you know, he's rich. He's so, so... He has everything that you wanted on a man, except one thing. Still, I'll ask you, what are you taking home? Okay, the magnificent wedding takes place. And everyone is very impressed. I don't know if you, the lady, are impressed. Right inside you there, are you really satisfied that you've done the right thing? You've made the correct choice 100%. Again, I'll ask you, what are you taking home? Have you come across um, ladies who have divorced prematurely? The wedding has just taken place. Maybe two, three months down the road, the lady has thrown in the towel and she has not told anyone why she is quitting. She would rather keep it a secret to herself because after all, she made the error herself. Let's call it an error. It may not be an error according to some people, but I will call it an error. She cannot just express her, uh, I call it disappointment to anyone else. Okay. That's why I advise any lady out there, please get to know this man. Get to know what you're taking home. Don't be scammed. One time I went to the market. I was buying a very nice pair of pants. I looked at the pants. I told the seller, please, that's the pants I want. That's exactly the pants I want. Oh, he picked it on, turned around, placed it in a bag and wrapped it very well and gave it to me. When I reached home, I 
opened the bag and it wasn't what I asked for. In fact, I had gone to buy a boy's pant. When I reached home, it was a lady's pants. It was my pants. They had given me a pant for myself. He changed it. So you have to be clean on what you're taking home. If I had opened that bag and checked what is there, I would have known what I'm taking home. That's why I'm saying, please, it does no harm to check what you're taking home. I know some people, some customs are going to lash at me. No, you can't talk like that. You can't advise our girls to do that. But I have my strong point where I would say this. What, what is the point in taking someone that you do not know? You make all the preparations, all the plans, all the wedding, waste all this money. Then two, three months down the road, it has broken. The lady has walked out. She cannot contain it. I mean, you may realize that the man is this size. This size. The total opposite of your life's dream. The total opposite of what you ever imagined. How are you going to live with that man till death do you part? How are you willing to stay with that kind of of dissatisfaction for the rest of your life? Eh? Really? I would say it's better to check it out. Check it out. Know what you're taking home. Well, on the other hand, you may find out that the man is this size. How are you going to live with that? Till death do you part. Oh no, it's not manageable. I mean, those people have their sizes. And the only way to get to their sizes is through trial and error. Test it out. Check it out. You'll get a mate. Even this one will get a mate. There are ladies who are looking for that and that is the fitting size for them. But now, if this is what you've got and yet you wanted this, how are you going to live with it for the rest of your life? No, I insist you should check it out. Know what you're taking home. When you are eventually alone and frustrated, depressed, disappointed, defeated, no religion, no custom, no belief, nobody, you'll be left alone with your frustration to figure out the next step. Nobody will help you. So, make sure you know what you're taking home because you will have to deal with it yourself at the end of it all. Again, you have to know what you are taking home. Please share with us how you would handle this situation from wherever you're coming from, whichever part of the world you're coming from, whichever tradition or custom you're coming from. How would you, how would you handle this situation? Thank you very much for listening to me. Again, this is Aunt Ayla. If you've got anything of value from this lesson, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. We'll meet you in my next one. Thank you.